Hey everyone, uh, today we are going to talk about how to create watch lists. So we have many tools, we post many trade ideas, we do a bunch of stuff, we want to be a one stop shop, but not everyone wants to look at every single stock in the market and every single trade idea. So what we have for uh, those people uh, is watch lists and filters and we'll talk about uh, both of them today. So let's start with a watch list. So watch list is uh, simply a list of uh, symbols that you can use to filter out uh, the list of symbols in different tools. So instead of uh, talking, let's actually create a watch list, use it and that will clarify everything. So let's create a watch list and name it test video. And let's start by adding uh, Apple. Once we do, do that, uh, we'll see a small uh, card that shows the symbol, the price, and then you can actually click on stocks or options to go to their uh, dashboards as well. So now that we have a watch list, let's add more symbols. And right off the bat, most people ask, do we have to add symbols one by one? Not at all. So just uh, do this, like just add a, <laughs> add a comma separated string and you just type in add and you can see other uh, stocks have been added as well. So now this is your watch list. Uh, if you just reload the page, you will be able to see your watch list here. Just click on it and there you go. I have other watch lists as well, obviously. Uh, so I have a watch list where I have the mega cap and then one where I have the most uh, 100 popular stocks that I want to keep an eye on. You can create your watch list. You can add as many symbols as you want and things like that. So now that we have a watch list, we have four symbols in that watch list. Let's see how do you actually use it. So this is all you have to do in order to create a watch list. Now let's actually go to the live options flow and let's assume you just wanted to look at uh, these four stocks that we added in the watch list. Uh, how would we do that? So we've loaded up the page, we go to the watch list and we click on our watch list. Okay. And boom. Now we have filtered the entire live options flow table based on the four symbols that we added in our watch list. So there were 22,000 uh, trades. We are only left with 4,000. You can filter these down based on all these different filters that you have. And that's where now filters come in as well. So you can select a couple of filters. Let's see, I'm just selecting these randomly. You can you can save them and then you will be able to use them using this your filters uh, widget. So that was it. Uh, very short video, but I just wanted to let you guys know that we do have watch lists and filters uh, for different tools. So use them. Uh, you don't have to look at every trade idea that's out there. Only look at the ones that are the very best and the ones that you actually want to trade. Uh, so hopefully this was useful. Uh, thank you so much.